Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. From a 1940 edition of the Rotarian, the Rotary Club's magazine, The Optimist. Life handed him a lemon, as life sometimes will do. His friends looked on in pity, assuming he was through. They came upon him later, reclining in the shade, in calm contentment drinking a glass of lemonade. There's nothing inherently bad about a lemon. It's sour and has seeds and pith that get in the way, but yet its presence can make a dish the star of the table. Just a, just a squeeze of lemon or a bit of lemon zest changes the taste profile of a piece of fish, a bowl of chicken noodle soup, or a lemon meringue pie. When we make lemonade or anything else from a lemon, we restructure our perspective by simply reorganizing the chaos inherent in this unique little piece of fruit. So too, our Parsha is full of chaos restructured into tov or even tov me'od, good or very good. As we spoke about in Parshat Bereshit, as we have spoken about in Parshat Bereshit before, the Torah does not say that the world came from nothing, but rather from tohu vavohu, from chaos and disorder. Or as the medieval Ibn Ezra translates, waste and lack of substance. Rather than creating the world out of scratch, God creates order and beauty out of disorder. God creates lemonade out of lemons. Each and every day, out of this tohu vavohu, God describes God's created world as tov, good, or even tov me'od, very good. Our Parsha does not end its saga of lemonade from lemons with the creation of our world. In today's laning, or in, in what was last year's laning, the Torah presents the stories of Adam, Chava, Cain, and Hevel, four individuals who defy God's stated and implied instructions. After Adam and Chava eat from a tree of knowledge of good and evil and try to cover up their deeds, they are banished from the Garden of Eden and bestowed with the mortal realities of effort, pain, and death. After Cain kills Hevel and tries to cover up his act, God punishes Cain with a life of unsuccessful crops and eternal wandering. Yes, all four of the first humans mentioned in our Torah experienced the dramatic consequences of their chaotic actions, and yet they also all give birth to generations of children who develop their own incredible human creations. Yuval shapes musical instruments. Tuval Cain hammers tools out of bronze and copper, and Chanuch walks with God, as John said. The generations beyond Adam, Chava, Cain, and Havel take the hard work that results from their parents' deeds and transform it into music and crafts and religion. They, too, make lemonade out of lemons. While the chaos present in our world may often seem overwhelming, we can reclaim our status as made in the image of God by restructuring our tohu vabohu into some tov. Sometimes that restructuring simply takes a shift in perspective, a question of the good present in everything flying at us. Our busyness at work means that we're blessed with an income. The mess left every time we host guests at our home means that we are loved by people who do not even live with us. As our rabbis taught us many centuries ago, when the two temples are destroyed, we restructured, we restructured our religion from one based on class and hierarchy to one based on community and family. Throughout the High Holy Days this year, we focused on the chaos of our past year of experiences, many good and many far from good. Sometimes it was difficult to separate the two. But when we focus on the little gems learned from those experiences, even the ones we have to acknowledge were nothing but the opposite of good, the words, when we learn from the words we, we, when we learn from the words that we learned help and hurt, the people we know will be there for us through anything, our strengths, our weaknesses, we find the good out of the mixed emotions and results inherent in our creation. When God creates everything, or when God creates evening, God calls it Erev, which comes to the root from the root word that means mixture. 
For our medieval commentator Ibn Ezra, God creates both the uncertainty of experience, that is evening, and the clarity of sight, that is day, because both are essential, both are mixed together. Chaos and clarity go hand in hand. Pure goodness cannot exist without the mess of brainstorming and growing up. In this coming year, may we find the wonder buried in the chaotic times and places, and may we bless this mess through lemon drizzle cake and lemon meringue pie that we will inevitably make. Shabbat shalom. At this time, we'll continue with Musaf, led by Francine.